Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are going to have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hi everybody, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hi Julie. Hey, Joanne. <sighs> Wanna do a project here. Just listening to my other part of my family fight upstairs over a bath. So, um, what I have today is a super fun project. There's not a lot of chalking per se, but it's gonna be super fun. Let's see. Hey, Denise. Uh. Okay, so I hope you guys were able to see my video earlier, at least the replay, if you weren't able to see the live. I went page by page, project by project for the um, new celebrations catalog that's releasing tomorrow. It is so exciting. There is so many amazing things in there. So if you didn't get a chance, go ahead and look. I'm going to be doing a drawing for people that were in the event. Um, and those people are going to get a special promo tonight that I have yet to post. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and share. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I cannot figure out how to get my screen is different. Very different. Um, my screen is very different and I can't figure out how to get what I want on here. Let me try this. Hmm. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I wanted at all. Let's do this, this. Oh, well. I don't know why I can't, I can get it to go the other way, but not this way. See, I can get it to go that way. Let's take it all off. Here, take this off. Go here, A, B. There we go, okay. So this is one of our large Aidens. I can barely show you guys the entire board because this is an 18 by 24. It still has something I had on there from Thanksgiving, but if I pan down a little bit, you'll see this is the bottom, and it's a pretty big board. What I love about this board is porcelain steel. It's top of the line. This is one of our gallery boards. Beautiful. Um, if you join Club Couture, you have the option of getting the um, 9 by 12. Um, also, if you're a designer, it comes in your designer kit. So I want to clean this so we can use it. I'm just going to spray a little bit of water on here. And I'm going to take our paste scraper and I'm going to go ahead 
and get off that thankful. Oh, I didn't bring a board eraser over here. I'll have to get one. There wasn't that much paste on here, just a little bit. And then I'm going to use a paper towel to wipe this up. And then let me get underneath this rim here because I have some other paste. I'm going to have to use a board eraser to get off the rest of this residue that was left behind. We go and this is taking that right off this is a very smooth board almost like glass so you have to treat it almost like glass and I'm just gonna take just like this hey Sherry how are you doing what are you doing, Us? Daddy took away my dinner and he locked the door in her room. I'm trying to barge in. He said you're gonna break the door and I'm gonna break your That's right, just come come sit down and relax, okay? Sit down and be quiet until I'm done with this video. Just sit down. Ooh. Sit down and relax. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this until all of that residue is off of the board. Just leave him down here, just go upstairs. You have no idea what's been okay. going on. Get upstairs. Everybody knows what's been going on. Get upstairs. Okay. And so I'm just going to clean this so that it is nice and smooth. I'm taking the plate. I make sure that all of it. Oh my God. And then what we're going to put on here is actually part of the watering can transfer. Ezra, I need you to be quiet. I'm doing a video. I'm in the middle of a video. Stop. I had a great day. I had a great day. Guys, we went riding two miles today. We did go two miles. And I went down the biggest hill. I'm going to open this. Now, this transfer has two pieces to it. We have the watering can, and then we have the word garden. If you wanted them together, you could always keep them um, attached we have to be mindful that there is a cut line so it would chalk through, okay? But for this project, I only want the watering can. So I'm gonna take my transfer trimmers and I'm gonna cut off the word garden because I really just want this watering can. Now, while we're getting this ready, I want you to start thinking about what color we should do this watering can in. Should we go classic, like gray or shimmer silver? Should we do like um, a, a rusted, copper or what color do you think and then I'm gonna go ahead and get a sharpie and I'm gonna write what it is on the back I'm gonna say watering can and this is just so I know which side to put it back on one side is glossy one side is like a paper and it's also so I know what goes what to what all right what are you doing Nezra put it back I found it so what it wasn't lost. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of fuzzing cloths here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel a little bit off of my watering can like this. You never want to stick the sticky to the sticky, and it gets hard when you have a big transfer. So I'm going to stick that to my fuzzing cloth, and then roll it off onto my fuzzing cloth. Now we fuzz so that we can soften that adhesive. Lift it up. This is like a textile. This is a silk screen. And the Aiden board is almost like glass. It is non-porous and it sticks to it like super stick. And if it sticks too much, you can end up stretching your transfer, which doesn't work out well if it's a layering transfer because you want it to be perfect so that it layers perfect each time. And you also don't want to ruin the surface you're putting it on. 
we can't ruin the Aiden. That surface is on point, but we can still stretch it if it's too sticky, which we don't want to do. Hey! I made a big mess in the bathroom. Yeah, I heard, and you know better. You're lying. Don't, don't, don't. Ezra, Ezra Steven. Yeah. You're this close from being spanked on live Facebook. I told you to sit. I didn't tell you to jump. All right. I jump quieter. You just got out of the tubby. I don't think you need to get sweaty, honey. I'm going right. to see if I can find anything on the couch. On what? On, the, on these couch things. Okay. Triangle thingies. Yep. Why? All right. So I, I think that's good. I think I super fuzz these. Um, why these triangle things? The one thing that's good is I can then pull, a mat. pull this back. And I want to be really careful not to stick the sticky. I see a lot of lint on the back that. I'm gonna try to get some of that off. I think I got too much lint on my transfer in some places. But it's super sticky at the same time. Mommy, I'm rolling, look. And then I'm just gonna stick it on my backer sheet just a little bit so I can maneuver it without sticking it to the sticky. Do you see how I have this? I have it on a little bit on my shiny side of my backer sheet so that I can't accidentally stick it to itself. Now it's nice and straight. Hey, Jennifer. And then what I want to do is kind of line it up where I want by placing it where I want it. And then I'm going to start smoothing it down so that I don't have any air bubbles. Put it right on here. No preferences yet, huh? For or I'm trying to think of how high I want, how low I want this to go. No preferences for color yet. Maybe we'll go right about here. Right about here. And we'll go ahead and smooth this down. And then I'm going to peel off my backer sheet. And then I'm going to smooth that on like that. Part of me is leaning towards shimmer silver. Part of me is leaning towards a shimmer copper. Part of me is just leaning on like um, a gray. Eight, eight, so let's see. Eight, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? We can do a silver can. We can do a grayish can. We can do a storm. Uh, do you guys have any preference? Any preference at all? I'm so excited to do this project. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead with, I don't know. I was hoping you guys would help me out, but you're not saying yet. Oh, copper shit. sounds nice. Okay. I just got a brand new jar of copper today, and I put it with my other ones, and I went right next to my other jaw of copper. <laughs> What am I putting inside? Oh, good question, Nikki. Good question. So if you guys have seen, we have a transfer. What is this called? This one is called Plant Dreams Flower Packets. So do you see this gorgeous, gorgeous transfer? It has, um, flowers that I can't even pronounce, but there's dahlias and there's um, alliums and zinnias. And I actually have 
different flowers. I have um, dahlias that are yellow and white. I have alliums that are pink. Mommy, look here. I have some that are blue. Wait a minute. I think this is my dahlia. I don't know my flowers. Maybe this is the dahlia or maybe it's the gaylardia. But I, they have different flowers and I have these. Mommy, so these the 3D kit. effects are gonna go looking like they're coming out of the water can. So this is the color palette. We have purples. I have yellows, whites, a little bit of pink. Mommy, look and if we shit. get to it, a little bit of blue. Isn't this a pretty bouquet? So we're gonna probably not use all of them, but we're definitely gonna put some of these to look like they're coming out of the can. Does that change your mind of what color can we should do? Like I said, this project only has a little bit of chalking and a lot of embellishments, but it's gonna be the start of the series that we're gonna do with this. Hey, Terry. So that's what's going in inside. Does that change your mind? Tell me, tell me, tell me. So I'll give a second now that you guys can see that about what color we're gonna put on here. So far we have a copper, so we can do copper. We can do copper. Got plenty of copper now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and open my copper and see if I have anything left. I think I might have to open a new jar if we want copper. Let me take a stir stick. I rarely ever have to stir copper because it is a great consistency. This copper is more on the thicker side. Finally! I think I need to, I'm a silver girl. And is that bottom left corner of the transfer have a blank so you can write on it? I've been looking for what this. What do you mean? Are you talking about the other transfer? Mommy, I found my Call of Duty. So there's a blank down here to make the flower seed packet. So you could do a solid color and then put this on top so it looks like it's a packet of seeds, if that's what you're talking about with the blank. And I love the phrase on here, plant dreams, pull weeds, and grow a happy life. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Let me grab um, the other copper. Can I show them what I found? Ezra, if you need to go in front of that camera, the answer is no. Okay. But look what I found. I found my Call of Duty Black Ops. It doesn't really matter if you lose your, your PlayStation, which it sounds like you did. I did. All right. <laughs> So here we go, we have, ooh, see how this one is much more flowy? I'm gonna put this over here so I remember to I suggest you go upstairs and apologize to your father and get dressed. I don't need a naked boy running around the basement while I'm doing a video. You need to tell him you know what you did was wrong and apologize and go clean up your mess and put your pajamas on right now. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to Go like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a small squeegee and just go over the screen. I got a little too much on here, but it's <laughs> not as old as my other one, so it's flowing nicely. The other one was getting really thick and dried out. I'm gonna take all the extra off. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Kim. There we go. I was really torn when I was planning this project whether or not I would put that word garden underneath. But there's so many other elements to what the whole display is gonna be. All right. Now the shimmers dry much slower uh, because of the texture that it has for adding that little shimmer. 
so I can take a little more time and putting it down. And then let's go ahead and peel this off. This is beautiful. I'm just gonna walk this transparent over to the sink. Actually, I'm actually gonna just wash it real quick since this has to dry a second. All I do to wash it is put it under the sink and use a board eraser to get off any extra. And then I just lay it sticky side up on a surface. Once it's dry, I will just put it back on the backer sheet and have it ready for people to use at the workshops. Did you guys notice my t-shirt? It's a transfer t-shirt. It says chalking is my cardio. <laughs> uh, I think I made it at one of my make and takes near the end. I mean, tonight I guess my cardio was walking the two miles with my family, Sammy included. So let's go ahead and dry this so we don't mess it up with our flowers. Go clean up the mess in your bathroom. So my son decided to do a cannonball into the tub. Not cool. Especially when you're almost 10, you should know better. Oh no, I just dripped water from my hand on here. Ah, let me see if I can get that without messing it up. It's almost like he did a cannonball. There we go. Ezra. I guess I should dry my hand off so I don't drip again. There's so much detail in this watering can up close. I love it. Now the shimmers do take a little bit longer to dry. I think we're good. I'm just really worried about the top because some of the flowers might touch it. Oh my God. So we'll put Drew. that off. Okay, so now remember what I said, the Aiden is one of my favorites because not only is it a gorgeous porcelain steel board, it is magnetic. So what that means is we can do a beautiful project like this and we can use magnets, all right? So I'm just gonna take the flower and then kind of bend it forward so that it's coming off off of the thing, oh, off of what thing, right? Off of, I'm gonna bend it. <laughs> a lot of these are posable because they have wire in them. I'm gonna bend it if you can see so that it has the back out. Um, you can even choose to take all of the greenery off and just use the flower itself. I'm just gonna manipulate it like this and put it like that. And I don't wanna glue anything to this board because it's my favorite board and you can use it again and again. Hey Rose, hey again. So what I have is um, adhesive magnet, okay? So it has a part that you can stick. And I'm gonna stick parts like this to the flower. All I have to do is cut the magnet, peel off the sticky back. And I just got this as a rope because I knew I was gonna use a lot. And put it places. And then put it where I want and look how the magnet is gonna stick. And that just kind of draws there. And if I feel like, hey Courtney, if I feel like I need magnets in other areas, I'm just gonna cut a little piece, right? and stick it on the back and it'll hold it down. I'm not too worried about the very bottom here because I can always cover this part up with leaves if I need to. So there's one flower. Thanks, Rose. And then let's take one of these purple ones. This one is super cute. Like I said, I don't know my flowers um, at all. And I'm just gonna cut a piece of this. This whole collection is gorgeous. There's so many parts to it, and I can't wait to do the other transfers as well. 
and I'm going to stick you can cut this as thin as you want so I'm going to try to cut this one thin so I can kind of hide it behind the stem like right here this one's kind of hidden by one of the the leaves okay so happy that I found it and then we'll stick this one to figure out where we want them to go. So you put it on first and then like this has too much close by. We'll put that one. It's a lot of playing around to figure out where the leaves are going to go. That's why some people may opt to just cut the heads off of the, like this is getting a bit much. And I do have a nipper. I do have a nipper close by so I can nip some of the extra leaves if they're in the way. Like I don't like the way that one turned out. Let's see, let's get some of the thick ones on first um, and kind of figure out where we want this to go. There's so many leaves. Where, where did I put those nippers? I brought everything over here. Hold on. I thought I brought it over here. One second. Here they are. I'm going to take some of these leaves off, but we can also use the leaves to cover up once we figure out where we want things to go. So like I want these leaves to kind of be poking out this way. And I like to put, I like to put the magnets behind some of the leaves because it's a bigger surface area. Cut that, right? And then I got all of these, um, I think they were delivered during the early part of my work week. I ordered them online from Michael's. So let's figure out where we're gonna place it and then I can figure out where I wanna put my magnets. That. And then I'm gonna stick this. I stuck the sticky side to the board and not the flower. Silly girl. Like that. And then we can kind of move it up. Move it up. What do we have over here? And then there are some that I went ahead and took off of the stem. And that's what you're going to use to fill in some of these areas. Mm. I know I had another one that I put a magnet on. Here's one, it's another white one. So I'll go like that. Pretty, pretty. I feel like one of these. You can just kind of put them in here any way you want. Let's see. This one has a lot of leaves to it. I'll put one here. And we'll have to put another one behind because that's a big burden of flower. I have the tendency to go a little crazy, so I'm trying to keep myself from going too crazy. There we go. It's turning out so cute, Nikki said. Mm. 
it's hard to do because I'm trying to let you guys see, but then I really can't see. Let's put that, maybe that one to the side so that we can get this one. Right here. And then kind of hook it into the other one that has good magnets. this way we have that we have that where'd that little blue guy go I think he was really cute um let's put one there there mm -hmm. Looks a little wild, right? Like wild bunches of flowers. And, then we'll... and you could use whatever whatever flowers you have. Let's put this one like right here. of on something else so I need to so much roughage is that roughage I don't know if that's the right term either let me get another piece hey Michelle on here If you're not concerned about what people can see, it does go a little easier. We can kind of get that one in there. That one's not gonna stay. That one's not gonna stay. Hold on. I wanna make sure I didn't smush this one down too much. I wanna bring those flowers down. Oh, thanks, Michelle trying here trying to see if <laughs> my idea is actually going to work or if it's not we'll see i want another yellow one here like this it's much easier if you take all the leaves off i will say that but i am not always the one to go easy <laughs> But what's fun about the magnets is if I don't like anything, I can change it. And you can also change it for the seasons or if you want a different flower. But when you put a flower down, you have to make sure you have a board behind it that you can have a magnet hooked to. And then some greenery to kind of block it. Like I want this greenery to kind of come down more this way. So it's not in that purple's way. And then I want to bend this white one out to make it more 3D. I'm going to put a magnet behind this leaf that's holding it on the side. Right here. And that's going to hold that one there. Oh, I love it. So it's holding there and then I may put some on the other ones just because it's going to be upright and not laying down so we want to make sure it can't move these magnets will be reusable as well put a magnet on that one ta-da on that side I'm just gonna bend this a little more I'm trying to see it as you guys are seeing it let me know if I'm starting to go a little crazy. I'm gonna bend this one. They're all bendy that way. 
Um, we're almost done. I think I just want to put, should I put this one here? Let's take you off for a second. See how you can just miss, miss, mitch, mat, mismatch and do whatever you want. I had that little teal one, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, this one already has magnets on it. Hold on. I didn't realize. We'll put a magnet on this leaf too. Hey, Vicki, how you doing? I'm gonna put them down and then kind of put it over. That's a pretty flower there. I'm going to take, I think I have, I thought I had, here we go, leaves that have a magnet on it. Oh, hi. No, not talent. Trust me. People here will tell you, um, every, anybody can do this. <laughs> no talent needed. <laughs> Can you do it too? Ezra, my nine-year-old, can do this. I'm going to put... Could a newborn do it? I don't know about a newborn, bud. I feel like... Is anyone? This purple is pretty, but it's kind of hidden there, so maybe I'll put it... He said anybody could do it. I need to see this. Let me see. Hold on. From... Where is she from? <laughs> me? I am from, um, I'm in Maryland. I'm in Maryland. I'm wondering if I should leave the purples out or put the purples in. Let me see. Maybe if I add a purple up here, it'll look like it belongs. What do you think? I need to move this guy. Hold on a second. Mm. That's all right. Um, I don't know what to do with myself. Maybe I'll leave the purples out. Maybe the purple adds too much and everything else is kind of the same palette. What do you think? Or should I try to, try to put some in there? It's so hard to see this, guys. Okay. I'm going to add another magnet up here. So that it sticks to the board up here. So that's down with that. This one is down. Maybe we'll just add more of these. Um, I'm going to look to see if I can add this one here. Is this too much? Do you guys think I've gone too overboard or should I keep going? I kind of like that one there. Let's cut this. I'm gonna cut this with my nippers and have this one go right here. I love it. I love it, I love it. Now this is gonna be hard because there's so much behind it. Lynn because I I don't know how to arrange flowers and it's much harder doing this while people are watching and you're not really looking well I'm finally tall enough. so let's move Mommy, I'm finally tall enough. so that I can get a good handle of where I want it to stick and then I'm gonna put Magnets. So this is all magnets because we're going to use this board for something else later on. So right now I'm just checking out all these leaves to see which ones need magnets so I can hold it straight up without them all falling. Like this one. And these magnets aren't super sticky. I can take them off and reuse them. Let me just manhandle that to get it to come the way I want it. And even when you go to put it up, you can still kind of manipulate, move the magnets, change it as you want. I don't want to cover the spout though. Let me just bend this one in 
There we go. There we go. And then what I want to do. I just got oofed on my ankle. What does oof on the ankle mean, honey? Uh, just got hurt. I was on this thing and I accidentally stopped. Oh, Ezra, so you're telling me, honey, that you're getting hurt on something that you're not supposed to be on in the first place and you want me to feel bad for you. And it's fine, you don't have to. <laughs> mm. I've been on this thing for... Thank you. Six seconds. All right. So now I'm gonna start using these. I'm going and I'm gonna start coming through. 49 moving leaves to kind of camouflage the stems at the bottom and then like that i've been on this thing for a minute and 30 seconds i think i can get the leaves that are here now to kind of move and then i'm gonna take my nippers and nip ones that I don't want oh, there. Oh, Ta-da! Now, of course, I'm going to be playing with this for a while to figure out where I want. But the good news is there's wire so in them. Four seconds. So I can bend them towards me. That doesn't look too bad at the bottom. I thought there'd be too, too much green. But we'll use the magnets down here. Let me put a magnet on the bottom of that. Oh, this is gorgeous. What do you think? What do you think? All right, I have Let's to check on my oofed ankle. A magnet on the back of that. Uh, somehow I put a magnet the there. Screen. I'm just going to go around the board now, just making sure everything is secured. I may use a lot of magnets. That's okay. That's down. That's down. This one, I'm gonna leave some free floating so that it looks natural. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it this way and I'm gonna take a pixie. That's down, those are up. You're down good, you're down good. Especially the ones at the top are the ones I wanna make sure are down because I don't want to be to, the flower to be weighed down this is the one I don't know what's weighing it down. There we go. Oh my gosh. I, I thought this was going to be cute, but it really is turning out better than expected. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to hold it up. Oh, okay. Let me turn you guys around so you can see it. And if something falls, it's not a big deal. That just means I have to manipulate where the magnets are. Okay. Ready for this? Fingers crossed, I don't know. I couldn't see where all the leaves were. So if anything falls, I'm just gonna cut another small piece of this rope magnet and put it behind the flower or behind a leaf to hold a magnet, it up. A magnetic rope? Yes, a magnetic rope. Some of these flowers are bouncy. <laughs> so I may have to be very careful. Ta-da! See that one? <laughs> we have one fall down. Look at that. Look at her. Uh, I want to see. See all the leaves back there? So a lot of it's just going to be playing around with those leaves and moving them out of the way so the magnets on the flower can stick. But see, once I put it up, I can fix it. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Let's put it back down. You have had the hiccups all day, boo. Yeah. And as you can see, this one only had one little magnet on the back. I didn't put any on the leaves of this one. Let's go back down. Look, look how delayed this thing is. It is delayed, babe, I know. So what I'm gonna do. Like whatever I do, it's like three. I'm gonna stick like this one back in. Oh, I had the magnet on a petal. That's what happened. It's, a, it's like I can do it faster than I, it's like I can do it slower than I'm moving. Uh, they said, hi, Ezra. What's so, up, Moi? Ezra. Go away, please. Isn't it your bedtime? Go tell daddy you need your, um... I did. Okay, good. Then go away. All right, I'll be ten fight. So I'm going to go ahead and take these long leaves and I'm going to put magnets on since that's why it fell off. And then I will put one on the back of the flower. 
I didn't realize that I had like nothing on this one. So we'll put this one in and then I'm gonna look to see which ones have magnets. Ta-da! I heard that, that one just jumped on. And then play with some of these leaves. So what do you guys think? Rose is perfect, looks good, perfect. There we go. This is the first piece in our series. This one makes me nervous because there's so much like hanging out. Maybe I have it too much at an angle and I should put it more outward so it's not so top heavy. There we go. And then we can bend some of these down. So they're forward facing. And there is, I feel like this one moved. Did it move? It probably did. Probably did. I'm just pulling this off to see what I, oh, I didn't have anything on the left side. I don't feel like I need anything on the left side, so I might actually take my nippers and cut that off on the left. And then hide it underneath so it looks like it had. And then the problem is I have it on the flower. I didn't wanna do that. So I'm gonna put that underneath and I'm gonna kind of use another leaf to hold it down for me, like that. Now it's tucked into the leaf, nice and cozy. Ta-da, yay. This leaf right here is annoying me, so let me see if I can bend it. That's better. I don't wanna have to cut that one off too. And then it'll just be a game of manip manipulation that when I finally put it up to put the leaves where I want it to go. So here we go. This is our watering can. This is the first in our um, series of projects. I hope you loved it. I hope you did. I hope you're as excited as I am for the new catalog release tomorrow. If you have any questions or you want to pre-order, let me know. I'm about to go into the event and post a little sale, <laughs> okay? Thank you for joining me and have a great night. If you would like to get this watering can or any other transfer, here's my chalk site. Um, if you're not part of my VIP group, comment VIP and I will send you the link. Um, and I will post a picture of this. Thanks so much for joining me. Good night.